Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about the best alternative to Botox. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. I have so much to say about this category. It's really an exciting video of just alternatives and things that I've been experimenting with over the years. And one that I just found recently that I am really impressed by. I don't know if anyone else has tried this. It's a very old company from 1893. How exciting, right? So I'm gonna go into basically some alternatives. I know that we're all looking for ways to maybe do things a little bit more naturally, etc. I have no problem with Botox. I have no problem because I did Botox and I started Botox in my late twenties because I had what we found out after we took it out was the neurofibroma that was in my orbital socket here that was really deforming my eye area. So I did a whole video on that. I will link it here, but that was just really something that I wasn't prepared for where I, I just, you know, was like, how do I get rid of this really heavy line? Because this growth was pushing down and I had this really, it was coming towards my nose. So it was really bizarre. This doctor at the time, this plastic surgeon back in my twenties, you know, I had seen so many different plastic surgeons. And the reason why I was very hesitant was because I literally saw 10 plastic surgeons. I would go to one consult and he would say, this is what happened. I remember my mom came with me. He was like, okay, we'll take down the forehead and we'll take it out and then we'll put the forehead back up. I'm in my twenties. I was like, no, we're not doing that. Like, whoa, that's way invasive. The next plastic surgeon in my consult said, oh, no big deal. We're just going to cut it. It'll pop out and we'll just stitch it back. Like, why aren't we even on the same page? So I basically shelved it. The doctor that said he would take it out because I did MRIs and it wasn't connected to the brain or the bone or what have you was like, okay, we're going to take it out. I had a show to film in, in Hawaii. So I put it on hold. When I came back, I was ready to do it. I think it was like nine, 10 months later. He was like, oh no, it's too dangerous. We can't do it. Wait, you told me you were going to do it. Now you can't. So I just waited. So I said, well, what can I do instead? I have this line. I have this heaviness. It really makes me unhappy. So you can do Botox. That's how I started. And I really didn't think too much of it because I was just so focused in on alleviating this, this heavy line crease that was happening just right here. So I was thrilled, worked out really well for me. And then I stopped doing it when I went through IVF because clearly I was pumping myself full of hormones, synthetics, what have you. Hence why I was like, why am I dying my hair every two weeks? Because more chemicals, whatever. So I basically just stopped. And then once I finished all of that, I felt so depleted and emotionally, physically, I looked terrible. I looked like I had <laughs> really weathered the storm. And so I had my plastic surgeon that actually took out that neurofibroma was a client of mine. And so I, I texted her, I'm like, oh my gosh, I was like, it failed again. I was like, oh, what, what is going on? She's like, you need a little pick me up. You're right, I do. So it made me feel better. I went back, I had a little bit of Botox. I think it was 2018. So for me, I see a lot of comments below my videos like, oh, you do so much Botox and filler and what have you. It's like, you know what? <laughs> I've never not said what I do. I actually wrote about it in my book, Beauty Reinvented. I'm very honest about it. I don't think it's a secret. There's nothing to be a secret about. It's I'm in the beauty industry. I'd like to experience it because I had reasons to. I did try filler in 2018. And I did radius. And unfortunately for me, it created like inflammation. And like, that's where I think I really have this pigmentation where I've talked about, you'll see it a lot in 2020. So I think that from 2018 and 2019, that this inflammation was starting to happen. And you'll see it in my video with my aunt. I know I see my face on camera all the time. So I can pick out like, what's what, what is that? What's going on? It looked like a welt. It wasn't like it was a cyst or it was like hard or there, you know, balls underneath. It wasn't like that. It looked like I got bit by something. And then I had like a big welt puffiness, right? So I had that on this eye here. And it was just really weird. So that's why I think I have this redness. I said this before in a video where I'm like trying to pinpoint, like where would this come from? So I have this redness inflammation that happens, pigmentation. So I had to surgically get this thing taken out that was here. So I'm like, wait a second, I'm doing filler to like make my cheeks like be fuller, like in this area here, but yet it's causing a reaction and I have to surgically get it 
taken out with stitches. I was like, it's just not for me. But I'm, I'm happy I experienced those things so I can talk about them and say, this is what my experience was. It was like when I went to Los Angeles to study permanent makeup, right? They were like, well, you need to get it done. How are you gonna sell it if you don't have it done? I said, well, wait, I do all these different makeup tutorials. Like I don't wanna have a dark chocolate eyeliner when I wanna show navy or I wanna show plum or I wanna do something different. Like it doesn't, that doesn't really fit with what I'm doing. And so, I said, okay, well, I, I can still experience what it feels like. Like we'll do, I did a little beauty mark. I did it superficially since I knew it would scab and just fall off. So it was okay. But I wanted to feel what it felt like with the needle going in, what the pigment would like look like, what have you. And it was funny because I came to class the next day and they're like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. And I was like, yeah, it looks great. <laughs> but why am I adding pigment to my face? Like that's the last thing I need is like beauty marks. <laughs> pigmentation on my face when I'm trying to like, you know, even tone my skin. But I was happy that I it could experience what the needle felt like going into the skin. And this is my business. This is my industry. You know, I want to experience things. I want to know, I want to have firsthand knowledge if that's what I want to do. So fillers aren't for me. I tried that a couple times and I just, the reaction wasn't good. My body was like, yep, we don't really like that. And then the Botox, I stopped doing in 2022. So it just, you know, I started to really kind of look at my content and really where I wanted to go and my vision boards and being intentional with style and makeup and skincare. Hence, you know, I did a video on the Sephora sale. I only bought three things. I'm being very, very deliberate with what I do. And then I had that whole video about going damp. I've been doing a lot of reading in 2022 about just really what I see for my future. And, you know, right now Botox just doesn't fit into that. So I've been trying all these different alternatives and I'm, I'm very excited about it because I'm putting the effort towards what my real end goal is. Yes, it's effort, right? You might be tired at night, you wanna do it, this and that, but it's just like going to the gym. It's just like that discipline. It's like that discipline in eating healthy, drinking enough water, et cetera. That's what I'm doing. So right now, I mean, I don't know if I would ever go back to Botox. I mean, it's really a moot point at this juncture in my life because it's not something on my radar. It's really kind of like what Isabella Rosalini said right? She bought this organic farm. She has all these beautiful animals. She eats organic, she grows organic. And she's like, it would be a contradiction because of my lifestyle and what I'm doing if I did Botox. And I can see how that makes sense, right? So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm very conscious of what I'm putting in my body, what I'm doing. I'm going to start off with facial cupping. This is something I offered in my treatment room when I was seeing clients and they loved it. And it's really, really neat. I've always been into more of an Eastern philosophy when it comes to whether it's Ayurvedic, which is not Eastern, but it's from India, acupuncture, all these really interesting things. And cupping is one of them. So I have these glass cups. They come in a different, all different sizes. And this is a really nice way to get that blood flow, to get that contouring, to pull that skin off of the fascia. Like I'm gonna give you a, a couple different pointers on what cupping will do. You can do this at home, you can buy these, and you can really give yourself a really nice treatment. I use two different oils. You have to use an oil. It's not the same as body cupping. You'll might be see some public figures that do body cupping and you see the circles red or just really like, you know that they did cupping on the body. It's, different. You're always constantly moving this on the body. You're not stagnant because that's when you would get too much blood. And then that's when you're going to get bruising or what have you. That should not happen with facial cupping because you're constantly moving this little glass cup on the face. So I like the Biface Fortuna oil, or of course, you know, I love my Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. These are really great oils that have enough slip. They don't dry out and that you can really get a nice facial treatment. What I do is I put the oil on my face, I'll come and I will cup, so you can see, it brings the, the skin in there. I don't want, first of all, I don't have oil on. Let me just show you with a little oil there. It's not, it's what I just basically told you not to do. So you put oil on the skin, you would cup and you move. Cup and you move. So this is something that, of course, I would start here and go all the way back here, but you can see how it's giving that it just feels so good. So if you have a lot of facial tension or you feel a lot of puffiness and stagnation on the face, this is a really wonderful thing to be able to do, bring it down on the neck. Same kind of thing 
that we're gonna get into next is my second step, but cupping is an alternative therapy. So I'm gonna read you some of the things about cupping, that it's a suction that promotes increased blood circulation, which may help relieve muscle tension, promote cell repair, and aid in other regeneration. So it's also said to improve the flow of your chi. Chi is a Chinese word meaning life force. So that's really a big thing. You're moving the chi, you're moving that life force. So then it comes down and says that basically, again, it's not like body cupping. This is about facial cups are typically smaller and softer. You're used to gently pull the skin away from deeper layers of fascia. This increases blood flow to the area and rejuvenates the skin without leaving cup marks behind. Over time, this practice improves the complexion and diminishes fine lines and wrinkles. So this is a really great alternative to start with if you have never tried it. Going into the second step, you have the oils still that you have on your face and you can go into gua sha. Same kind of concept, you're not pulling the skin off of the face here. You're going to be using this in the same kind of manner, contouring the skin, bringing that blood flow to the surface, really taking that lymph bringing it down, doing your neck. It's so nice if you have TMJ, you really feel a difference in the morning or the evening or anytime during the day that you really want to kind of really contour the face. This is really great because I made stainless steel for my gua sha. So if you drop it, which I do all the time because my hands are a little slippery, you're not breaking it. So your investment is always going to stay. <laughs> you're never gonna have a jade stone that just breaks and then you have to replace it. So that's why I went with stainless steel because I felt like it was going to be the best for longevity for you. Now, this is something that I have found recently. I was doing research on something. Oh, I know what it was. I was doing research, all these TikTok girls younger, which was I thought was kind of interesting, were doing like this, this cat eye it was I think it was called like the fox eye, but they had tape, right? You can't get that without stretching the skin. So they had like this tape, right? That pulled the eye up. So they had like cat eyes, fox eyes. I think it was called foxy eyes or something. And they have this tape, right? That has a little, this is so old Hollywood, you know, actresses. And this has been going on forever. But you put the tape here on the temple and then you have this little string that comes around and it pulls this one, right? So I got them on Amazon and Unfortunately, they're so cheap that they would go on here and then like they snap off. I'm like, wait, that's not what I'm trying to do. I wanted to see if I could just pull it up. So when I did my makeup, I wanted to do this whole thing. I couldn't find the right ones. So in this article, I was reading about old Hollywood and about like the neck that they would do it also, right? They have these like little like tabs you put on here and you pull it back and you have this beautiful neck. I thought it was so great, but they were talking about these facial patches. And then I was on TikTok and it popped up I swear they're all tracking me, but it popped up about frownies and it's a company that was created in 1893. It's four generations of women. It's a family owned. So the grandmother and then the, the daughter and the great granddaughter, and they're still at it, which is amazing. This is the original wrinkle patch. So I thought to myself, I'm going to try it. I'm always so disappointed with so many things, but I'm gonna try it because she popped up on my TikTok. So this is what they look like. I actually got this a little wet last night. Let me just peel this off. You get all these different, like this long, this will last you forever. This is gonna last you forever, but they are perforated. So you just take them off. And the reason why they're like this, you know, little squares, like you can see, see how it's like a little square you pull off like this. So you have these little squares because everyone's forehead's different. Wherever you see the wrinkles on your face that you want to really smooth, you basically get this wet. So this is the adhesive on the side and then you place it so you can create whatever pattern, overlap them, what have you. So I really feel like, I feel like I'm like one of those balloons that remember paper mache or there was something we would do where you had the balloon and you put it all over and then you would pop the balloon like after 24 hours and then you had this beautiful, whatever it was. I laugh every time I put these on and then in the morning I forget that they're on and I kind of scare myself like, oh, that's right. I have this whole forehead. It is amazing. Your area here is so smooth wherever you're putting it on. And you know, I thought that, you know, it's consistent. They're actually really promoting it to the younger girls that are, you know, instead of doing baby Botox or what have you, try this first preventative. And, you know, I just think it's such a great philosophy to start with something like this, see the results. And I'll tell you, it says to use them every night. And then when you start seeing the results and, you know, use them, you know, three to four times a week, but this is manufactured in the U.S., and it says that everything is natural about the adhesive, what have you, you can go on their website. I did create a, a coupon code for you below. I contacted them because I thought, oh, I want you to try these. I want to hear some feedback on them. But you could also, you know, maybe use your quarterly 
to wet them if you don't wanna use water. I'm kind of thinking that because I would, I mean, like it's sticking on my skin. I don't want water that, you know, is tap water. So, or you can use maybe bottled water, but this is nice. You can spritz it and then put it on. So it's not like more of a, a treatment. I've been loving them. I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get these and it's gonna be like so silly, what have you. But it says too, if you have a lot of tension headaches or what have you, it's basically not allowing your forehead to Stay in those positions if you are making a lot of expression at night when you're sleeping, what have you. So I really love, I love it. I love anything that I, I can do and I wake up and I'm like, oh gosh, it's been working for eight hours. I'm really excited. Actually, it's been working for like four hours recently because I've been going to bed so late working on all my little projects that I have for you. And you know, I have to really concentrate on that because I'm working on my <laughs> forehead. And then meanwhile, I have like bags and I look really tired. So it's kind of like, okay, wait a second. You gotta go to bed earlier. So if you are wanting something that you don't wanna go into Botox, you don't want anything that's not natural, this would be something really great to try. Inexpensive, it's gonna last you for a long time. So my last thing that I really love doing and that I show on my Instagram a lot. They have something very exciting coming out soon. Also, so you might want to join me over on Instagram, subscribe to be alerted to, you know, I put a lot of things in stories. It's really, really kind of fun and I have some, you know, great little flash sales on stories. So this is Zip Beauty. I've talked about this nano current that is for the face. It's like a workout and this is really nice and light. So I love this microcurrent. I like how I don't feel like I'm, it's so heavy. I've had ones before where I'm like, I don't want to use it because I'm like exhausted trying to hold it on my face. So this also has an app that connects with this little device. Now she, the owner, the creator of this company has all these different really cool facials that you can follow along with her. The conductor gels that I've been using recently is the golden gel, and then I've been trying out the crystal gel. This is made with organic ingredients. Lots of really nice ingredients and in peptides in these. What feels really interesting, it's like honey going on the skin. So you're like, oh no, it's gonna be so hard to take off. When you wash your face just with water, it just dissolves and it feels so good. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have a little schedule for myself. I will do this at night, kind of create it with my kind of like wind down. I'll have my tea. I have these new herbs that I put in to my, I found it on Instagram also. I'll link them below. So I have this like herb library that I can choose from. And there's one that's called Do Not Disturb. And so I put that with my rose tea. I will put on the app put all of the conductor gel on, and then I do it. I usually do the works. So I do like the 15 minute one, but there's shorter ones, three minutes, five minutes. I really like that because it's not like you just bought an investment piece and you're like, well, how do I use it? I guess I'll just try to follow along. And that's kind of boring, I think. Having your phone and watching her and she guides you through it, I think it's really nice, like a personal trainer, but for your face. These are my kind of like rotation of what I'm doing to really help my skin, help my just face look the best it can without doing anything that would be more invasive. And I hope that, you know, maybe you try some of these or maybe there's something else that you you really enjoy using and you see great results. I would love to know. I just know when I keep constantly being fed Botox in a bottle, Botox in a bottle, this cream, whatever, creams are not gonna do that. Will they hydrate? Yes. Will they smooth lines because you're hydrated? Yes. But they're not gonna do anything to your muscle. They're not gonna freeze your muscle, right, in your face. I see so many things that lead women down the wrong path of just thinking that this is like the holy grail. It's, this is gonna like erase all of my fine lines and wrinkles and what have you. And that's really not true. You have to make effort. You've got to do things. You can't just sit back. Just like you can't sit back and expect a gorgeous, muscular, like all defined body if you don't spend any time in the gym. Same thing with your face. Skin care, cupping, gua sha, doing microcurrent, doing this to really help your body. Just give it that little extra boost using frownies. See how they work for you. I mean, the before and afters all over Instagram and on their website and what have you are really interesting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you are doing as an alternative. And until my next video, I'll see you later.